Hey, Hope City Church, hope you are having a great day. We are back and we are continuing our series going through the Psalms and we are already up to Psalm 20. Uh, today we're joined with Pastor Ken, Pastor Phil, and Katie from our care department. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and read that for us. I'm, I'm using the uh, NLT translation, the New Living Translation, but Psalm 20. Uh, guys, get ready and uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this. It says, in times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. Now I know that the Lord rescues his anointed king. He will answer him from his holy heaven and rescue him by his great power. Some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. Those nations will fall down and collapse, but we will rise up and stand firm. Give victory to our king, O Lord. Answer our cry for help. Team, what do you think? What stands out from Psalm 20 as we read that? Yeah, verse 7, you know, stood out. The, some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast mm -hmm. in the name of the Lord our God. And, you know, just kind of thinking about all the great and powerful nations that have come and gone, right, you know, um, in history, when it's Assyria or Babylon or Egypt. I mean, Egypt's still around, but you know what I'm saying in regards to its, you know, power in the world. Um, you know, Rome, even to modern times, you know, Britain, France, and arguably the U.S., right, just kind of boasting in, in, in their weapons. And, you know, just kind of how David says, listen, you could, you could boast in your weapons, but we're going to, we're going to land on worship because that's where we realize power comes from, right? And it's the idea, of, and when I was reading it, it was this idea of, you know, these other military powers have had their, their temporary victory, but in God, we have this eternal victory, right? Where it doesn't just last a period of time, right? Like our, our, our victory in, in Christ lasts forever, right? And it's just that, that, that was just, that's worth bragging about, right? But it's not about us. It's, you know, bragging about the, vic the eternal victory is kind of the word that, that kind of was circling around my brain as I was, as I was reading that. And I also love how he's talking about, you know, we have that individual victory, right? But he's talking about as a nation, like he's almost like, I read it almost as a prophetic prayer over, over mm -hmm. Israel, right? He's, he's calling this out in Israel. And I was just thinking my own, I'm like, man, I, I want that burden for Canada, right? This isn't just kind of a, what do my prayers look like? Do they all revolve around me and my situation and my family, and my finances and whatever, right? But, but Paul here, or Paul, David, sorry. <laughs> David is, you know, talking about Israel, right? He's kind of bringing them all into this prayer. And I thought, oh, man, that's great. That was, that was a good reminder for me. Mm. That's a good, good point. Mm -hmm. Pastor Phil. Uh, you know, what struck me is he was praying. Um, I love the statements that start with may. May the Lord answer. May the name of the God of Jacob protect and may he send you help may he remember all your sacrifices may he give you the desires of your heart it's it's like he just started with like um hey this is my prayer for you this is my heart for you that god comes alongside of you that god actually sees the life that you're living um, you know, when he says, remembers all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings, like for us today, that would be the things that we do that coincide with the Christian life. Uh, may he see our acts of generosity. May he see our acts of kindness. May he see how we seek him and, you know, come before him. Um, and then may the Lord grant all your requests. And, and um, it's just interesting because he says all these mays, and then he says, um, you know, now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. Uh, go back to verse one. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. He's like saying all these prayer requests, all these things. And then he's going and check it out. This is what he does. This is how he does it. And so he lays out the prayer. And then he also lays out 
the answer or the way that God comes and answers those prayers for those people. And I just thought it was a great like intro conclusion and then answer us when we call. It's kind of like it ends with an exclamation mark, kind of like saying, God, you've done it. You've done it before. You're doing it. And I'm going to keep declaring it. Answer us when we call upon you. May he do that. May he do whatever it is that we're asking. So it's a real anthem of, um, for me, it was a real anthem of answered prayer and just confirming that. I think David, like David walks in such a confidence as well. Yeah. Like yeah. when he, when he writes these and like you said, like he says it, but it's like, but check this out. He's doing it. And there's just such a confidence in, in how he writes and how he uh, articulates that, that I love that. Um, Katie, what stands out for you? Oh, I was looking at uh, this passage, reading it from the, uh, the voice translation and the first verse just hit me, I guess, um, my season right now. May the eternal answer find you, come to rescue you when you desperately cling to the end of your rope. And I just stopped there. I thought, well, like, each of us has that moment, right? And sometimes it's big. We're at the end of a big rope. But sometimes it's just in my day with my kids. And I can't get them to eat breakfast, you know? And it literally feels like I'm at the end of my rope already before we've even started. And... Um, yeah, just this idea that, that God's answer will find me there and that he's going to come and he's going to rescue me there. Uh, just was really encouraging. I was circling, you know, what Phil was saying, may the name of the true God of Jacob be my shelter. Circle that. May he extend hope for me and help uh, from his holy sanctuary and support me. And big or small, it's, um, it's just something, it takes time to learn that God is there for you in every season and um, when I jumped down to what Ken started with, with the verse of um, some trust in chariots and some in horses, I, uh, I switched translations because I thought, I don't know what my chariot, my horse is. So when I was looking at the Passion Translation, it says, some find their strength in their weapons and their wisdom. Uh, but my miracle deliverance can never be won by men. And my boast is in God. And that hit me too. Because actually for me, the depletion of my strength is when I've agreed with the lie that I have to fight for myself or fight to get ahead and use my own strength. That, that brings me to the end of my rope pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And I think in this season too, with COVID and everything, trying to figure out what's the right way of looking at everything and what to do man, my wisdom runs out pretty fast. And so that's me at the end of my rope. So it's just, I just found this whole passage so encouraging, call out, but um, God's going to find me. He's going to rescue me uh, and provide hope, support, um, help, shelter, all the things that I need right now. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I love how just the word of God, you know, it translates in all our seasons and all our times. Like every time we've gone through one of these Psalms over the last, you know, six weeks now, like it translates to, to our realities. And I think that's just a beautiful thing. You know, God definitely knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's very encouraging. And, and it's cool how there's four of us here and, and we're each, you know, it's speaking to each four of us in a different way. I just, I love how the word of God does that. Um, for me, it was um, verses four and five. May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. Mm -hmm. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. It was the word when. Verse 5, may we shout for joy when we hear of your victory. And just that, again, that confidence of knowing God's in this. He's got it. Uh, you know, nothing nothing sneaks past him. He, he, he's got his hands on it. And, uh, and just raising that victory banner, I just, I, yeah, that just really spoke to me. And just, again, that confidence we can have. Um, you know, in our times, in our days, like you say, Katie, you know, you know, uh, you know, our, our, our toddler just, he went for a nap at like 10 o'clock this morning because he was already done. You know? yeah. And so, you know, we all have those, those days and those moments and those, those times where we're just, yeah, it feels like it's heavy. And, uh, but Hey, it, it's when, you know, God is moving, God is working and he's in that. So, um, that's really what spoke to me. Great, great Psalm, great encouragement. Um, does anyone have anything else? I'd like to add to it. 
I think for me, it's just, this is our prayer over our church. May the Lord answer mm -hmm. you. May the Lord send you help. May the Lord remember you. And may he give you the desires of your heart. You know, um, pray that over our people. Yeah. That's yeah. We want that for them. And, and what I like is it puts the onus on God. And um, we trust God for everything that we're asking for. That's great. Well, thanks, guys, for being a part of this. Thank you, Hope City, for tuning in. I want to pray for you. Uh, let's go ahead and do that together. God, we just thank you that you are here. You are with us. You are for us. You're not against us. And uh, God, we lift up our church to you, as Pastor Phil mentioned, God. And and uh, our prayer, God, is, is that they would tap into what you have for them, that people would tap into, God, your power, into your strength, um, into your joy, into your love, uh, into your wisdom, all those things, God, that, that you fill us with. And uh, so, Holy Spirit, would you do that today for those who just need to know you're there? Would you just reveal yourself to them today? And uh, we just love you. We again, thank you for what you're doing at Hope City. Even in this different time, God, we thank you that you're still moving. You don't stop. And so we just give you all the glory, Jesus. We love you. We trust you. And would you continue to have your way? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. You're good-looking people. Can't wait to see you in person. Yeah, I miss uh, you guys. We'll see you guys soon.